Why, hello there, folks. How's everybody doing today? Okay, so I wanted to show you a little progress of my uh, van built. I started this uh, project, uh, well, I purchased the van like less than 20 days ago. And it was just your regular old uh, Chevy Express uh, cargo van which was used for um, I think it was uh, the owner was an electrician and so he used it for work I had to go ahead and strip everything and uh, uh, rebuild it and uh, so today I want to show you the progress as you can see I have already uh, made the bed it's a queen size bed uh, actually let me um, explain the van to you a little bit first this van is uh, Chevy uh, Express 2003 and the model is 3500 that means uh, it's a heavy-duty extra long extended uh, van so it's a little longer and it made it possible for me to make a nice size uh, queen size bed in there and uh, so here it is very long which I like and so let me show you what I've done in the back <clears throat> as you can see I uh, have done LED lights and here's the bed queen size bed down here uh, I've made a little bit of uh, storage room and it's long and it's kind of dark so you can't really see inside but uh, I could put uh, tents and folding chairs and uh, you know long things what have you awnings things like that I could put it uh, in there if I wanted to I could store my batteries in there I got a little jackery uh, working right now which is uh, perfect for my LED lights and uh, for right now I'm just gonna use uh, you know this kind of batteries for my energy needs because uh, I'm not planning to uh, live in the van so I don't need any of those uh, you know fancy solar panels and systems so I got one more storage right here like I said you know for folding chairs and cleaning supplies and charcoals and barbecue and grills and uh, this uh, door system is really simple it's just a piece of uh, quarter inch uh, plywood cut to size and then I put another uh, piece of wood here so we just slide it open and close it's a nice little cheap way of making doors and uh, so here it is uh, the look from the back of the van I'm gonna take you to the kitchen and everything the LED lights are nicely hidden under uh, the molding there so that's kind of cool and you could change the colors you know the, this red and purple and whatever color you like it's a mood light that's what we use it for and on it's Christmas time it's holidays so I put up a little bit of uh, Christmas lights uh, also on top I used the uh, wallpaper and uh, you know I use the installation all around the walls and the ceiling and the floor uh, for the walls and the ceiling I used the one inch uh, installation and then a quarter inch uh, plywood on top of that and then I painted this side I put the crown molding it actually that's a base molding I used it as a crown molding because I like the size as you can see there I got a smoke detector already for safety safety is uh, number one and uh, here we go I'm gonna take you to the front and show you some of the things I've done in the front oh before we do that uh, I am um, going to make a nice little storage here on this door it's gonna be folding plywood uh, platform here and uh, in there I'm gonna um, store my um, one of my stoves for cooking so we could cook out here back here and for the windows covering I used the uh, black uh, foil this 
material. The black is uh, foil paper that I found. They use it for um, production of uh, um, like movie uh, industry. They use this uh, uh, on their sets. So, you know, if you need to buy um, black, you know, uh, uh, stuff, you know, they have a lot of materials they use for production. And uh, I use uh, magnets, strong magnets, to, uh, and I cut it into shape and I put some uh, installation in the back. I glue them together and uh, I'm just attaching them with uh, strong magnets. So this whole thing comes off when I need a uh, little view and I need the uh, light in the van and, and nighttime. It will uh, go on for privacy and a uh, little bit of uh, installation. Same thing over here, it just comes out pretty easy. It goes back to place really easy, just cut it uh, to size and shape. And uh, all right, let's go to the other side. And this is my favorite spot in the whole world. I come here to relax, I make videos for you guys, and I mainly come here to read the Bible. And after uh, the making of this video, I'm planning to uh, study the book of John a little bit today. Okay, so here we go, here's the inside. We got the uh, plant, and it's alive because uh, we like to purify the air with, uh, we filter the air with plants and green. Here I used um, brake uh, veneer, a quarter inch on this panel, this wall here, as you can see. And uh, this is a black uh, blackout uh, curtain, uh, which I use for that area there, for privacy and to block the light. All right, so over here I got the sink system and what I have done here is uh, as you can see it's Christmas time so I got the Christmas decoration everywhere that would be my Christmas tree right there with the Grinch and so let me show you down here I've done the sink system really simple I used uh, two two gallon uh, uh, buckets for uh, gray water so you know one is in use it's hooked up to the sink and one is for backup because I'm using a three gallon uh, clear drinking water and uh, so I just uh, left one of these uh, gray water tanks uh, for backup really simple this is a stainless steel uh, salad bowl mixing bowl I purchased from uh, Walmart for like seven dollars I made a hole in it I I know a lot of people do that and uh, it's funny from uh, for this whole sink system that I've created the most expensive part is the soap dispenser it was like uh, 27 dollars this is uh, my um, uh, faucet water pump right there It's a uh, battery operated. I got it from Amazon for like $13 or something like that. And uh, it has a battery inside and it charges. Uh, you could recharge it with a USB cord, which uh, connects to this guy here is a battery. I uh, just left this battery here. I purchased that battery for like $10. It's gonna operate my uh, sync system. And also this LED light uh, that I have up here is uh, powered by this uh, battery here and so this whole thing over here really simple to do like I said the most expensive part was uh, not the faucet not the battery it was the soap dispenser right there and uh, I got, I've got some crystals right there my uh, favorite lazy owl uh, coffee cup and on top here I've done uh, these uh, knobs which are also hooks and uh, it's a little cabinet, little storage here, uh, 
you know, I still have to paint that area there, I think. So I've got a little storage room there. And then let's see right here. This is the bed. Like I said, it's a queen size bed, nice size bed over here. And uh, what we're going to do, so it's going to sleep too uh, very comfortably. Uh, I mean, two, like uh, five, 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 eight in height. Uh, you know, I'm uh, six feet tall, so I'm going to be sleeping on the floor, which I'm going to bunk down here. As you can see, I've got a mattress over here, which will pull out and I will open it up. It goes to the back over here. It, it sleeps uh, a six footer like me very comfortably. So this van built will sleep three people and uh, so we got some greens over here I love plants I got my candle over here I have another storage here for uh, one of these uh, emergency toilets and then I got my tools and I stove I'm gonna store here so this goes in here and I found this guy here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, use this as uh, a marker of all the places I'm gonna travel to hopefully I'll uh, mark all over the place I want to go all over US and so here it is folks it's almost done I got a nice closet here when I'm done with the closet, I'll do another video. Uh, I think I'm going to put a cooler there. I'm looking for a Yeti 35. If anybody has one for sale, I'm buying. So let me give you a long shot. It's uh, Merry Christmas. We got the uh, Christmas rug, Christmas lights. And uh, I wish you a happy holidays, folks. I know Thanksgiving is coming up. And uh, I'm pray for a peaceful and joyful uh, holiday for everybody. Leave me comments, suggestions, and uh, let's become friends. Thank you for watching. Uh, talk to you guys soon.